Team. My lovely colleague and me would like to uh, present you some recent uh, study of uh, exploitation of uh, banded flint. Uh, and of course, as we type in the subject with new discoveries in archaeology, we usually get new questions and more questions. So we start with a short introduction about history. Uh, first discoveries of banded flint mines date to 1920s. Geologist Jan Samsonovich and archaeologist Stefan Kulkowski found four mines with preserved anthropogenic relief. Those mines are located in northeastern Magdalene of Świętokrzyskie Mountain. Most famous of them, of course, is Krzemionki Mining Complex. In, 19, in 80s of 20th century, Polish archaeologists, with Jan Wyszewski as a leader, found new points of exploitation. Five new mines were different in size and type of mining structures. Also, they localized banded flint in geological strat stratigraphy, its upper Oxfordian part of Jurassic. Uh, excavations from 80s and 90s by National Archaeological Museum in Warsaw provide information about the position management system at Kremionki. Thanks to that, they try to part mining field into types of shafts with different depth and method of exploitation. First spatial analysis were tried to apply by Wojciech Bolkowski, who made T and polygons for Kremionki mining complex, as you can see in the bottom of this uh, picture. Another part of work around uh, banded flint is problem of flint axe distribution. It's related with Neolithic and early Bronze Age communities, who probably treat banded flint axes as an important part of their beliefs. We found banded flint axes further than 600 kilometers from raw material sources. A summary of these works from 20th century was conference, seventh flint meeting in Ostrowie Świętokrzyski in 1995. In 21st century, geologists and archaeologists start to investigate new points of outcrops of banded flint, and this is the part of new, uh, new geological uh, study. In Dwolce, near Iurza, it's in this upper part of the map, uh, Janusz Wyszewski found new point of exploitation, quite different in type of banded flint, but uh, more similar to chocolate flint. Also, usage of this flint is far different than Kremionki banded flint production horizon. In Dwolce, production is more similar, similar to this uh, neighbor chocolate flint and uh, production during Bronze Age. New outcrops have been found in the southeastern margin of Świętokrzyskie Mountains. Uh, this is this part. But even uh, that these outcrops are much bigger than northeastern uh, margin, there are no evidence of the history exploitation of uh, that flint. Recent, uh, recently, geologist Maciej Krajczas uh, with his team found new outcrops of banded flint even further south. It's so-called Forest Jurassic New Krakow in the Wyszkowska Upland. This is this part with red silver. Problems here are quite clear, I think, especially in case of this flint distribution. We know a lot of outcrops, even with prehistoric exploitation evidences, but main problem is similarity between banded flint from different places. Difficult to different even under microscope. Now, we think that the usage of this flint is probably more connected with place of raw materials than type of uh, flint, banded flint. Yes? That's quite a different approach to this subject. Uh, in 2011, we used new methods uh, to detect flint mines, Abor laser scanning. We scanned whole Magonia Folwalczysko Basin in uh, northern eastern uh, margin of Świętokrzyskie Mountains. Uh, and one of the most uh, surprising was the fact that we can investigate geological structure of basin. So, we should find new mines in line of correlated raw materials placed in limestones. 
as you can see with this red, li uh, red line, yes, this is uh, this geological uh, line. So only uh, one new discovered uh, flint mine was of course located beyond this line, probably in uh, quaternary sediments. And uh, in upper right uh, part of picture you can see this uh, mine with very uh, bad preserved uh, anthropogenic relief. Uh, moreover of that, we can't say anything about this mine from field work because uh, it has completely different lithic materials. Without test excavation, we actually can't say the date of, of this mine or anything. Uh, but of course, it's not only uh, detection with able laser scanning. Uh, we tried to use it as analysis of uh, to analyze mining fields with preserved anthropogenic radio with accuracy of scan. Uh, like four points per meter, it is possible in basic form. We use some visualizations like classic hill shade, uh, but also better for archaeological cases, visualizations like sky view factor or local relief model. As you can see, relief uh, of these mines are very visible. Uh, we've got Tremionti here. Uh, it is not a problem with deepest chamber mines or even uh, quarries, because uh, this kind of, of shafts are isolated. <coughs> uh, difficult starts uh, with pillar or niche mines, uh, because they are quite similar and located very close, close to each. Uh, least we know about shallow exploitation. Uh, without text, test excavation, we can't say more, because shafts are unisolated and make mess very hard to understand for us. We can uh, detect the mine, but can't uh, point shafts one by other. Hello. One of the sites which were used for the extraction of London food is Borovnia mining field. It is uh, an Neolithic and early Bronze Age complex. Located about five kilometers southeast of the famous Przemielki site. Uh, the site was scanned by airborne laser scanning in 2011 with the accuracy of four points per square meter. The site includes partially preserved mine surface uh, relief, comprised of traces of subterranean mining activity. Prehistoric traces visible on the surface form a belt which extends to a wide of 30 to 50 meters over a distance of 700 meters, oriented southwest, uh, northwest, southeast. For the purposes of the mm. for the purposes of the plan of analysis, I prepared various kinds of that data visualization, which were presented previously. The basis of my analysis was, however, a detailed contour line map made with an accuracy of five centimeters. Uh, in that model, it became possible to distinguish the individual shafts and heaps of rubble. In the next step, I cut off preserved mining surface relief from the surroundings natural ground surface. In order to decide on the location of each cutting point, I have analyzed various two and three dimensional uh, visualization and create several profiles for particle points of the area. As a result, I was able to get a three-dimensional image of partially preserved uh, mine surface relief. At this slide, you can see contour line model of the northwestern part of the exploitation field. The combination of elevation models and theor theoretical models of the natural level of the ground surface allowed to create the model of prehistoric mining surface uh, released by applying color scale. As a result, I have obtained a precise image of the area, which became a basis for further analysis. The next step was determining the central points of the individual shafts. As a result, I have determined uh, 190 points in depressions, which may represent the remains of the prehistoric mining units. Then um, I applied the method of Pisan polygons, which was used by Wojciech Korkowski for the Chemianki mining field in the early 90s. 
As a result, I obtain an accurate image of the density of my units, information about the maximum exploitation range, and about the relation between individual mines. The slide shows the results from, uh, for the northwestern part of the exploitation group. Basing on the available data, I have uh, assigned adjacent mines and calculate the distance between them. Then I have calculated the maximum exploitation rank in congruence to the distance from the nearest shaft and maximum exploitation range according to the average distance between adjacent shafts. Uh, I have also calculated surface area of the individual uh, mining units, volume of the rubble around the shafts, and the maximum height of the rubble around the shafts. Subsequently, I use the descriptive statistics to determine quantitative uh, the represent representativeness of the shafts identified for specific results. On this slide, you can see results for the northwestern part of the slide. An overview of all presented analysis allows to notice that at Borovia Mining Field, the arrangement of the shafts is not compatible with the course of the geological layers noted by the um, geophysical studies. Results allow us to conclude that the objects are grouped on the lines of lati latitudinal cuts as sets of several groups of shafts with simil similar attributes, which are often located around the larger units. A similar pattern was registered during the excavation in Jablin, uh, conducted in early 90s. All the results, compared with the results of similar analysis from Przemionki mining field, suggest that at Borovnia mining field exploitation took place in the pit and niche mines. The occurrence of pill and chamber mines can be excluded. As a result of aerial laser scanning, we can obtain the result of different quality. It depends on the density of memory point on the surface unit, the angle of the of after which beam is re released, and the diameter of the laser spot. It also depends on the density of plants. Uh, on the left, you can see results obtained for the same area with different scan condition. The white spot show where la laser beam not reached the surface. During the analysis of Borovnia mining field, I found that the terrain model made with scanning accuracy of four points per square meter is suffi sufficient to uh, locate and uh, the site and to determine its uh, initial characterization. However, for purpose of uh, more detailed spatial analysis, especially for sites of such complex surface uh, relief as Borovnia or Przemionki, more precise scan is needed uh, that will allow to obtain a more accurate <coughs> picture of particular, particular mining objects, especially shallow mines. In the future, for the Krzemionki side, we are planning to run an airborne laser scanning with an accuracy of uh, 64 points per square meter, which will result in the digital terrain model with a resolution of 20 centimeters. It is also possible uh, to create a digital uh, terrain model using the total station. However, this is a very time-consuming process. In this uh, way, in this summer, uh, measurements were made at Przemianki Mining Field. Results you can see on the right side of the slide. Uh, 3,000 points were obtained. The digital terrain model, which was created on this basis, is very precise, but measurements of nine hours were made for two weeks. For comparison, area of the Ekshemionki mining field is uh, 350 hectares. Geology, geology uh, of banded flint, as well as the system of, of its prehistoric exploitation, have been studied for over a century now. Over the years, the amount of material and data collected has been constantly increasing. Recently, the development of new technologies has provided us with a variety of means. New opportunities for achieving data began to appear. Database systems uh, allow us to gather and join all the data. And if they uh, are web-based, it can be available to many researchers from all over the world. Uh, now we are working on web-based uh, spatial da database, which will be designed to compute and summarize our current knowledge of banded tree. It will be designed in open source programs and open for use by all